Do you have problems with weight management in Fallout 76? Do you have so many items that you can never find what you're looking for? I know I do. So that's why I use... God, that sounds like such a infomercial. There's this awesome mod called Better, Better Inventory. So this mod gives you a plethora. A pl plethora? It, it gives you a, a ton of like filtering options. So when you're in the aid section, you can filter by food, by medicine, um, and another awesome thing is when you're in a category, like for example, if we're in the junk category, down here at the bottom, this number right here is how much that category weighs, right? So you're, you have your total weight, this one's 176. Your junk weight is 27.7, and I think that is amazing for uh, weight management. But there is a problem. That mod was last updated in 2022 and it does not work with current builds of Fallout 76. However, there is a solution and it's a little janky, so I figured I'd make a quick video to try and show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and grab better inventory. Go to the files. Don't use the mod manager, just go ahead and manually download the file. That's all you need from that. Don't unzip it, just leave it in the zip file that it is. Now we're gonna head over to better auto patch for better inventory. Uh, this guy realized that the the original file, the original mod doesn't work. So he made a fix for it. Um, so go ahead and uh, download this, save it wherever you want, download folder, desktop, uh, system32 files, it doesn't matter. Just put it somewhere you know where it's at. Okay, so now that we have the better auto patch and our better inventory, go ahead and bring your better inventory zip file into the folder that your better auto patch is in, right? So you should have bin, patches, auto patch, better inventory. Then you're also gonna need 76-interface. Now to get 76-interface, you need to go to your install file for Fallout 76. So in my case, I'm using Steam. So it's gonna be Programs Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 76, Data. Then you're gonna wanna scroll down until you see 76-interface BA2. Go ahead and copy that over back into your auto patch folder. Now we've got everything set up, right? So go ahead and just double click the auto patcher. It's gonna ask you if you want to apply the auto patch compatibility. You, We do, so we're gonna hit one, hit enter. Then it's gonna ask you if you want to uh, apply an optional patch. This one uh, is a scroll rat disabling. So when you get to the bottom of like a, a list of items, it'll automatically bring you back to the top. If you enable that, you won't have to worry about that auto scroll thing. Uh, it'll just stop at the last spot. Um, so you can go ahead and take that if you want it. If you don't want it, it's fine. Two or three. Now that you've selected everything, go ahead and hit three. It's gonna run through, it's gonna patch everything. And then it says it's finished. I'm gonna hit any key to continue. It's gonna close that out. And now we have our better patch BA2 and that's it, that's all we need. We're gonna go ahead and take that better patch BA2 file and we're actually gonna put it in the data folder where we found our interface file. Just go ahead and throw that in there. That's where most of your mods will probably end up going unless you're using like a mod manager that's configured differently. So go ahead and put your better patch BA2 file in there. Now the last thing we need to do to make sure this is working is we need to find our Fallout 76 custom settings, our configuration file, right? We're gonna need to find that and add the custom patch to the list of mods that it should launch. So if you don't already have a custom INI file for your Fallout 76, you can go ahead and build this just like this. It's a bracket archive bracket, enter to go down the next line, lowercase s resource archive to list, space equals space, you don't, you don't need two spaces there, better patch dot BA2. When that's all said and done, go ahead and hit file, save as, so when you save this, make sure it's in your Fallout Documents folder, not not in the not in the Steam files, but in your Documents. You can find this by going to Documents, My Games, Fallout 76. Now we need to title this Fallout 76 Custom .ini, and I already have one, so I'm not going to hit Save at this point. But this is where you go, would go ahead and hit Save. And then if you already do have a custom INI file. All you need to do is whatever mods you have, at the end just add a comma and then put betterpatch.ba2 and that'll add it to your list of mods that get loaded. 
After that, you're done. So now that we've got the mod installed, what does it actually look like in game, right? So we can go ahead and pull up our Pip Boy. And I, I do have another mod for my Pip Boy, so it might not look exactly like what you're seeing right now. But we're gonna go ahead and go over to our, let's say, our weapons category, right? And if you notice, at the bottom we have 82.8. That's how much all of my weapons weigh by themselves, right? And we can go ahead and hit Control to filter. And it'll give us ranged weapons, melee weapons, throwing weapons. But I honestly, I think the biggest drawing point to this is the fact that it will tell you exactly how much each category weighs for you. 15.9, really, really simple way to manage all of your weight, especially when you're a lower level and your or your cards aren't exactly optimized, your special isn't optimized for weight management. This is a great way to just kind of keep track and figure out where the hell all that weight is or isn't coming from. And I think that's really helpful. Hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. Uh, let me know if you want to see any more Fallout mods. If you have any questions about Fallout mods, I can definitely help you out. We'll figure it out together. Until next time, take it easy. Peace.